Today we're going to talk about Slovember. So Slovember, in case you don't know, is a month long sale that Decium does. Now Decium is the ordinary, it is Neod primarily. That's what we're gonna talk about today. So the sale runs literally from November 1st all the way to the end of the month and they only take Black Friday off, which is pretty interesting. Basically they're trying to be the opposite of the sale season give you plenty of time and not rush you. The entire site of Neon and The Ordinary is 23% off. So let's get into my recommendations. Like I said, I'm just gonna do five just to keep this succinct. Number one, I talked about this in my favorites video that hopefully you will have seen by now, but this is the Myrrh Clay. This is a mask. This is a mask that is made up of peat and then it has some other Ayurvedic properties, ingredients in it. What this is gonna do is it's going to tighten your skin. Not firm your skin, tighten your skin. And it's a very superficial tightening. And I chalk it up to kind of um, cleaning the pores and keeping the pores looking really refined. And also because the one of the primary ingredients in here is peat, it is packed with minerals naturally. Now peat is fulvic acid, humic acid, that's in peat. And you can see from this mask that it is like a fulvic acid mask. And honestly, fulvic acid is one of my all-time favorite ingredients. It is one of those things where I have fulvic sprays, I have a fulvic acid mask that I love from El Elemis, and I have another one that I love, and then this one, uh, honestly, this one is right up there. It is so good. It's 1.7 ounces, and I do use a little spatula to get the mask out. Every single time I've used this mask, I feel like afterwards my skin just looks brighter and it looks more refined. Next is gonna be the Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. This is a second generation of this mist. I've been talking about this mist for years. It is a counterbalance to the reactive oxygen species superoxide. So that's a free radical that is damaging to our cells and superoxide dismutase is the antidote. It is the crime fighter to the criminal kind of thing, if that makes any sense. It's an antioxidant and I absolutely adore it. Now the saccharide part of this is incredibly hydrating. It's a humectant. Now this is a marine saccharide and it is said, they say, that it will actually hold water in, it will stop trans epidermal water loss, and it will help more than high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, which is really interesting because high molecular weight hyaluronic acid is kind of that thick, goopier hyaluronic acid that we can use for microneedling, but also it can be used just to kind of form a film on the skin, trap water. It's not super duper elegant, but it definitely helps with holding water in the skin. So this is super lightweight. It is a spray, okay? So it is not going to be a film forming necessarily in the way that we think about like hyaluronic acid and that kind of thing, like the heavier hyaluronic acids, but it does super hydrate your skin. And then it also helps with that antioxidant protection. I was thinking about this the other day and the way that I think I'm gonna use this every day, and I'm going I'm gonna report back on this, but I really, I already know, is I'm gonna use this with LED. I think that this would be perfect to spray on the skin and let it soak in for a second, obviously dry down just for a minute, and then do an LED session. The reason for that is I do believe that a little bit of antioxidant protection when you go in under an LED is really nice, I also believe that we don't wanna put much obstruction between the light and our skin. So for me, I've said recently in the last year or two that if you wanna use a serum, you wanna use a water-based serum, you wanna let it soak into your skin and then you can sit under an LED. So many people complain about LED kind of drying out their skin. This to me is the best of all worlds. It's gonna give us that antioxidant protection and it's gonna help trap the water in your skin. So you're getting the antioxidant protection but you're also getting that hydration. So when you come out of your LED, you don't feel parched, you don't feel dry and you were protected from the incidental you know release of those reactive oxygen species from the light I just think all the way around this is really would be a great augment to LED next we're going to talk about the copper peptides I picked up both 
copper peptides. I picked up the 311, which this is more of a super duper watery serum. This has been my copper peptide recommendation for years. Now, lots of people talk about Dr. Picard's um, copper peptides. Those are excellent as well. But I, I like this one from Neod. I just think that it is a really nice formula. It goes, it just soaks right into the skin, leaves absolutely no residue, and I feel like it's super duper effective. Used to come in two bottles that you had to mix at once, but now it is all mixed into one uh, situation, and it is glorious. I love this. It is spendy. I want to say this one was $90. I bought all this stuff myself, and so getting this on discount is really great. I, of course, did not get it on discount because I bought it before the sale, but I am going to consider buying a backup of this one just because I am preparing to put it fully back into my routine now that I'm not worried about an interaction with another massive active in my routine right now. The other one that I picked up is the lipid, the copper peptide in the lipid form. So many people absolutely love this one. I think that since I last tested this out a few years back, my skin has gotten more dry. Just as I've gotten older, I'm way into perimenopause. I know that, you know, I'm losing that estrogen. My skin is drying out a little bit. I have less hyaluronic acid in my skin, all of this stuff. So I'm gonna give this a shot again and see if if it fares better on my skin. It really had nothing to do with the actual copper peptides. I have complete faith in Neod's copper peptides. I think that the quality of their products is bar none stellar. This is what it looks like. And again, it's in a lipid base, so it's almost like an ointment. And I recommend that you do copper peptides at night. So this is the kind of product that I personally would never wear like under makeup or anything like that because it definitely is a lipid. It's got some slip. It's very emollient and nourishing. And it is, I don't know if you can tell, very much like an ointment. But for a lot of people, I, I know because I get this feedback all the time, this is their go-to formula. So I'm gonna give it a shot again. Now, I wanted to tell you that the copper peptide kind of saga with ascorbic acid, that has been a thing ever since I covered copper peptides several years ago. And it has gone back and forth about what can copper peptides interact with? What can they not interact with? The one thing that we didn't want to put together with copper peptides was L-ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid. Well, recently I started incorporating vitamin C in my AM and my PM routine, which really kind of left copper peptides out in the dark because I couldn't use them. There was no time to use them. And so I've been researching a bunch more and there is somebody on Instagram that I follow. His name is Steven and his Instagram account is kind of Steven. I'm gonna link a specific Instagram post in the description box so that you can go read this yourself. But Steven is a chemist and he is incredibly intelligent and he conveys his information about chemistry in such a way that it's very easy to understand. He also has his own vitamin C out, which I am really interested in checking out. But the bottom line is he basically says there really isn't any problem with using a copper peptide along with ascorbic acid. And the reason for that is a bunch of chemistry that is really above my pay grade, but it has a lot to do with the copper being kind of tucked away inside of the peptide. And when you look at the chemical structure of a copper peptide, the, it's almost like the copper is protected by all of the other arms of the molecular structure. So the vitamin C can't get to the copper anyway, so it can't oxidize, it can't, they can't bother each other essentially. So I really do encourage you to go and check out his Instagram. You will learn so much. And in, in particular, check out his post about copper peptides and their interactions with various other things like retinoic acid or retinoids, L-ascorbic acid, and then also other like alpha hydroxy acids and stuff like that. But I'm gonna start incorporating the copper peptide from Desium back into my routine. And I am keeping my Dermalure Intensive Night Serum, which is my pigment inhibitor at night. I'm keeping that in my routine as well. And I'm really, really excited because they are two powerhouse active ingredients that should help obviously with hyperpigmentation, uh, also should help with collagen stimulation. Copper peptides are fantastic for 
acne scarring. They're just one of those ingredients that to me are part of a well aging plan for the skin and not having to worry about them with vitamin C is like awesome. Okay, so high recommendations. Super, super high recommendation is the 311. And then if you are dry, dehydrated, etc., you may wanna look into the copper in the lipid, okay? This is C-A-I-L, this is C-A-I-S, both huge recommendations for me for this sale. Last one is the fractionated eye concentrate. Yeah, fractionated eye concentrate, contour concentrate. Okay, so I have gone through a couple bottles of this over the years, and I do kinda of have an eye routine right now. I use my vitamin K, from Naturium. And then I'm using my Dermatology HPR, which is Grand Active Retinoid, okay? So I use that at night. I picked this up again because I forgot how much I really liked this. And so when I was shopping to kind of look through the entire site to decide the things that I really, really highly recommend from Neod, this was one of them, so I reordered it. Here's how I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use this at night. It's such a lightweight serum. You do not need a lot. One of these little bottles lasts a really, really long time. It goes like this. It's just a thin serum. I'm gonna use just a little bit first. Then I'm gonna go in with my vitamin K because it's more of like a gel slash serum, thicker than this serum. Then I'm going to top it with my HPR from Dermatology. That's gonna be my nighttime eye routine for until I run out of these things. Then I will assess because I really do like the One Skin Eye. I love the Dermalect Eye and I also like the Beauty of Joseon. But I'm setting all of that aside and I'm gonna just do this eye routine for a while and just kind of assess, get through all three of these products and report back on their efficacy together. So this is a huge recommendation. If you've never looked at this, the ingredient deck is incredible. The number of peptides that are in here is crazy. Of course I will have the ingredients, I'm sure they're already up on the screen right now, but it's beyond how beautiful this formula is. They packed every single thing in here that you would want for anti-aging, for working on crow's feet, for working on crepey skin. And it's in such a beautifully elegant serum that it soaks right into the skin. I use it all around the ocular area. So I put it on my lids as well. And I really do think it can help with the crepiness of the skin on the eyelid. And it plays well with everything else that goes after it. And I do not feel that it contributes to like milia or anything like that because it's so, so lightweight. If you have used this, please do comment in the comment section because every time I've talked about this over the last several years, so many positive comments about this product in particular. Okay, you guys, those are my five recommendations for the sale. I definitely will be answering any questions and I may even put out a mid-month update video, share with you things I'm picking up because I am planning to pick up the survival. And I also do have a few other things that I did pick up. I picked up the voicemail mask. I picked up the Flavone, I always say that wrong, um, mud. And I also have the modulating glucosides, which I adore. But I wanted to keep this video a little bit more succinct, <laughs> even though it's not succinct at all, I know. Um, anyway, so I hope that this was helpful. Leave me any questions that you have about Decium, about Neod, about The Ordinary. I will do my best to answer. I will help you with routines. I will help you with you know, product picking and all of that stuff over the entire course of the month. I do hope that you are having a really wonderful day. I hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.